Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to catch black bream. Now, I normally set up a rig or the tackle like this. I start off with a bit of line and I put a loop in it. Now, this loop will go to your main line, which will have a clip swivel on. You just clip straight onto that. So then you come down to the business end, which is two beads and a swivel. Now, you keep going and you'll come to more of these. I've actually got three on here. I normally use two, occasionally three, it all depends. Now you put these beads on. With the smaller beads I'd wrap this line around these beads twice. With the larger beads I'd do it three times. It's just to stop it slipping. You'd have to check it out yourself depending on what line you use. This line is sort of 25 pound approximately. And I need the strength just for I cast a bit further and I need um, to put a larger weight on. Now on the swivel you put your traces, which are literally just a small hook, about a size 1, 1.0. Oh. It's all dependent on the size bream in your area. I make the traces a little bit long because I'll cut them off because I'm never quite sure what the gap size is. But you don't want the hook to go any further than that really. You don't want it to come down and catch the next hook here. So keep a little bit shorter. And the idea with the swivels is that they can spin around the line that stops your traces wrapping up around your main line when you're casting if you especially if you use fixed spools and then you come down to the bottom of the whole setup and you have a clip and this is purely what I use to put the weight I use a clip because sometimes I put a little breakaway line in on the weight if I go into a bit rougher ground but usually it's straight to the weight and I fish off a sort of shingly ground where I find the bream and that is basically the setup for catching black bream. Now it will catch other fish, you will catch, I have caught bass, I've caught whiting, pollock, you name it, it's been caught on these setups. And these setups do actually work from the boats as well. And I have taken them out and used them and caught plenty of bream. But primarily I fish the shore. But it's a good all round setup and particularly good for bream if you use the right size hooks. In the end it's down to the hooks because black bream do have small mouths. So you don't want to use a too big a hook, unless of course you're trying to filter out the larger fish from the smaller fish, if you're finding that many fish in your area. Now there is one other setup I'm just going to quickly show you, which is even easier. And it's very, very basic. Same thing. You've got your loop on the end, which will go to a clip swivel. The reason I use a clip swivel again is if you use fixed spools, it just stops everything. It'll help to stop any twists and your traces wrapping up. Now this line is probably about £30, and there's a reason for that. When we come down, instead of the swivels and the beads, we've got loops. Now with these loops, what I do is I go one, and then I go again two, like so, and then I just pull it tight. So you end up with that. Then what I do is I take the loop and just cut it. And that will be your hook trace once you've cut that, and you just adjust it to size. You can put, like I say, a few of these on. Again, it comes down to another one. Now the reason with having several hooks is you're using small baits and if you want the bream to find it it's better to have a better scent trail so the more little baits you've got there the more scent it'll give off and the easier they'll be to find as well when you have quite a few. And then you put your weight on the end and that's it. I mean that's as basic as you can get. Now the reason we use 30 pound here is it just makes the line stand out from the trace. If it's too soft it can end up just wrapping up round then you don't really want it wrapped up. It, the fish will bite on it, but it's not a good thing when it's messed up like that. And that, like I say, is the most basic one. Now what I tend to do is put everything in a rig wallet, like that. You can set up several of these. I've already got a few which are made up in here. There's one with just the loops, there's one with the beads. And then, you know, I carry spare hooks in here as well. And what I do with the hook, is normally I put them in these little bags that you get. Just put the whole thing in there. If you put, um, if you're making up rigs with two hooks, then put two hooks per bag. So you've got to set up each time, and just do various sizes. I mean, you know, you'll have to try which hooks you want. I mean, it depends on your bait as well. These are little bait holders with the barbs on the back, and these are just straightforward sort of Aberdeen stars. I mean, if you're putting a bit of squid or something on there, it'll hook nicely on the back, or a bit of scallop frill, or razor fish or whatever you use, worm. And that's it. That is the setup for Black Bream.